Good afternoon, everybody. Well, um, it's uh, Sunday, uh, a little quarter after two. Uh, beautiful Memorial Day weekend. I might get some rest. Like tomorrow's gonna gonna be a bit rainy, but um, just overall been been enjoying it. Though otherwise, um, had a had a good night out Friday. Uh, that ended really awesome with the Rangers, um, you know, winning uh, <laughs> uh, in overtime thanks to a dramatic goal by uh, Barclay Goudreau. Um, yesterday, I uh, went to uh, walk along the Hudson uh, with uh, one of my uh, closest friends and his cousin, good guy, uh, the one, the man who gave me the nickname Nicky Jets. Um, so, uh, just wanted to, uh, I had, had some time before I, I go attend a, a barbecue um, this afternoon. And again, it's hope everyone's having a good Memorial Day weekend. I hope. Um, Hope everyone's doing well. Um, just wanted to say, um, you know, give a, a just a, just some brief thoughts about uh, what's going on with the Rangers Panthers series. Uh, it's been a dogfight. Um, the first game made me crazy. Um, you know, the Rangers just could not muster any sort of offense, and it was basically um, a snooze fest of a, of a, of a hockey game. Um, really, the score was one nothing because the second goal was just you know bad luck uh, off off of our own our own uh, one of our own sticks by Lafreniere, and then they had an empty netter, so three nothing. In the grand scheme of things, it's really one nothing. That the uh, um, it was really one nothing that the uh, the Florida Panthers only really got the the one goal in the first period, uh, but that was just. A lot of like snooze fest. It was just no offense could be generated, and it was so frustrating. And um, the Florida Panthers must be just that good on defense because the Boston Bruins really couldn't generate much. Um, I had followed that series because I'm like, well, the winner of that series is going to play us if we advance past Carolina. So um, every time I, I watched, I saw I saw a Florida Panther team that just dominated majority of that series. And in the first game, it looked kind of like more of the same. Like the Florida Panthers just have that it factor that could propel them to another cup appearance. And I'm like, here we go again. Another uh, disaster waiting to happen with the Rangers coming oh so close yet so far away. And I'm like, if, they're, if they don't get their act together for game two, um, that being the Rangers, that this was going to be a quick series. So... Uh, just wanted to, um, you know, get, get some thoughts. And, and then the first few minutes when I was out, I of course, I was out singing karaoke, and they had the game on at the bar. Um, saw Trocek scored, you know, and, and I'm like, okay, they're, they're, they're coming out with a lot more fire, a lot more energy, a lot more passion. Um, you know, and I was, uh, I was happy. I was happy. I was... Um, you know, looking and I was like, okay, maybe they're they figured this out. Maybe they realized, okay, Florida's a different type of team. Um, and 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 and, and they the, the the whole dump and chase. Um, I, I that which is what they've been doing um, majority of their play lately. It's not going. It's it's that's not who they are. That's not who this team is. I don't like. I, I've never been a fan of the whole dump and chase mentality and letting your goalie stand on your head. To steal your game, um, they did that a lot over the years with Lundqvist, and it only got them so far. And I'm like, here we go again, the same philosophy: letting your goalie stand on his head and play dump and chase and stick in your own zone. And it, but that mentality works only works so long for defense. But you got to generate some chances here, and they just weren't doing that in the first game. But the second game, I was like, okay, maybe they got their act together. They figured it out. Um, they kept pushing a little bit longer. Um, and then, uh, uh, so, uh, then, then there was a play where, uh, I think it was Wenberg who got hit, uh, over the shoulder, um, uh, who got hit in the head with a, a shoulder, uh, looked like they were reviewed for, for a major five minute penalty. Um, I, I thought it could have gone either way, but I'm like, either, I'm like, if they, if we got, they got hit with a major penalty, um, you know, that would have been, uh, even a better momentum. Uh, and then that probably would have, we kind of could have gotten these, I love another goal out of it. I'm like, okay, then we are really in good, in, in good uh, shape and good business. Um, it was only a two minute penalty, uh, two minute minor. However, 
they had Rangers had another power play before. And it just didn't matter. Um, they just couldn't generate anything. And I'm like, oh, oh I'm, I'm a little nervous now because the uh, the energy that they had to start the game after the Trocheck goal and it's starting to wane a little bit. And you could sense the momentum was was going towards the Panthers. And then what do you know? Toward the end of the first period, they had a um, they had a uh, uh, power play and they capitalized on it and the game was tied. So. Um, second period, it was kind of back, a little back and forth, third period, kind of the same. And then over time, I'm like, this, this is, this is the series right here. If the Rangers win, it's a brand new series. If the Panthers win, they, they're commanding and they're probably making this a quick series. Um, Barclay Goudreau, um, the man who won a couple of cups, uh, with the lightning, um, steps in and and, dec and uh, decides to uh send a, send a good night um and uh off to uh sunrise where the series is tied one to one so uh kudos to him for that for that key goal um but uh it's it's a best of 5 um and you hope the rangers can at least get one in sunrise you hope that uh this team can come out fighting um consistently um, go to the, uh, study the film, see what uh, worked more. So in game two, where they were able to get thirty shots on goal, um, they at least were able to get some more chances and and keep it going because they can't play like game one. I I think game one um is the uh, learning point where they said, okay, that was pathetic, that was putrid, and you, you're not gonna win with only mustering. I think it was not. They didn't even get twenty shots on goal the whole game. Granted, 30 shots on goal is, including overtime, is kind of, it's a little bit better. But uh, the bottom line is I know Bobrovsky's a good goalie, and I know the Panthers have a great defense. But um, for the Rangers to be the cup team that all New Yorkers, um, you know, think that they're going to be, they could be, and what they predicted, a lot of a lot of the, the Ranger fan base, I, I, I was thinking to myself, they have a shot, but we'll see. They've got to come out with that killer instinct. They got to come out and 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 put the uh, put the hammer down, get up early, generate chances, and as soon as they get a lead, don't give Florida any uh, any motive any uh, uh, momentum um, to come right back. Uh, they did that two years ago against the Tampa Bay Lightning, and it didn't end well. So all you can say is you hope that this team has that championship mentality, that killer instinct. Um, and they can at the very least, uh, starting with today, hopefully get the game today to alleviate a little pressure off of Tuesday night. But in a perfect world, they get both these games, but you hope you get at least one. So we'll see what they, uh, come out with today. Hopefully they'll generate more chances. Hopefully they, uh, uh, can, uh, get, get off, uh, get this, uh, the next two games on sunrise off to a good start today. Um, I'll be at a barbecue, but I know I'm going to be looking at my, uh, my phone copy consistently, uh, tuning in to see what's, see what's going on with the game today. So just, uh, wrapping it up. So hopefully the Rangers take game three today and, and, and learn what, what they did better in game two and just work on generating more chances and hopefully staying out of the penalty box. And, uh, like I said, hopefully they go up to two to one after today, but, uh, thanks everybody and hope everyone's doing well.